So this should be an interesting hike this morning here in Apple Valley, the hilltop houses. One of those things that most people see um, everywhere out here and see when they're, they're working and wondering what is that place? And so uh, I'm really looking forward to going up there and finally seeing it at least closer up and uh, telling you guys about the history of it and uh, what it's uh, doing in the future for us. So stay around. So this hilltop house is a fairly common uh, site here in Apple Valley and most people see it and don't know much about it. So it was actually built by Newton Bass, he's one of the founders of Apple Valley and it was built here in the early 50s and late 40s when they first moved here to create some uh, cattle farming area here in the Apple Valley Ranchos areas, at least what they called it at the time, which is the area surrounding this uh, hilltop house area. There's a Walmart and a Target and stuff like that for those of you uh, in, the, in the area. He built this house as a uh, retreat for himself uh, as he uh, lived here and, uh, and oversaw the land and he could literally oversee the land. So that was in the early 50s and then it progressed from there. So we'll continue the story on the hike. Well, as you can tell, this is a beautiful hike coming up here. It's actually a really good hike. I'm winded already. <laughs> but hiking this area has been kind of uh, quasi like illegal in the past. So um, the house itself used to be opened up and no fencing, now it's fenced off, but hiking up here, you used to have to go through private property and stuff like that. And so people were afraid to. I'm honestly, I still don't know if it's completely legal or not, <laughs> but we'll find out. But you can't beat these views, it's just amazing. So hiking this trail, you have a couple of options to get up here. Um, I understand there's a west route where you can get uh, to it from some private property, but I would highly recommend not doing that just because that is very illegal. The more popular route that I've found, there's actually probably four or five hikers I found this morning out here, is on the east side. You park down below some big water tanks, um, looks like an electrical substation, and then you walk up these two really steep roads and then once you get to the top, uh, there's a, uh, a dirt trail that takes you the rest of the way. So that's what we're gonna do. So the Hilltop House, uh, like I mentioned, was built in the early 50s. Well, it was Newt Bass's house for about 17 years or so before it was burned in a fire in 1967. Rumor has it that it was from looters and that kind of stuff, uh, sadly. But uh, it was rebuilt after that, uh, after the 1967 fire, and it was primarily only used for offices and that kind of stuff, which is really sad. So, uh, and it's been that way for a long time since then. Um, and yeah, <laughs> so we'll get the rest up at the top. <laughs> So I came up and over this hill and then you can see the entire southern portion of the high desert up here. Wow, how beautiful is that? Hey, how cool. Well, there it is. That's great.
So well, after it's being used for offices, sometime in the 80s it actually had a second fire in it, which is really unfortunate. Um, and then from there it was never really fully repaired. As you can tell, it's in pretty bad disrepair right now, and it just looks terrible. Um, which is sad for a house that's got so much history and such good view. Um, continued till about 2000, a uh, company owned it, basically didn't do anything with it. Um, up until 2016, it just sat with nothing happening. And in 2016, uh, January 2016, the town of Apple Valley actually filed a court motion with the San Bernardino court to uh, basically get the owners to fix um, much needed repairs in the house. Because as you can tell, people come in here, they vandalize it, if they get hurt, guess who's uh, responsible? It's either the property owner or now the city. So uh, basically that happened and then in March of 2016, they announced that they were buying the property and they closed around June of 2016. They got the property for a steal, $310,000 with the help of a $160,000 grant from the uh, feds. So uh, unfortunately, it's been sitting ever since. Uh, there's been talk of putting in some trails, uh, making a museum, all sorts of stuff by the city government, but unfortunately none of that has come to fruition. So really hoping that it does and we can save this for the future and actually uh, have a lot more people use it. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna sit here for a moment and then uh, head back home. <laughs> Well, with all that being said, this really is a beautiful place and it's sad that it's gone into disrepair. Uh, I really hope this city uh, gets their act together and gets uh, this fixed up and really uh, made this what it needs to be. So thanks for joining guys, we really appreciate it. Make sure to check out uh, the channel, subscribe if you like the uh, content and make sure to hit the bell to be notified of all our videos that do come out each and every week. So thanks for joining us and uh, we'll see you next week. <laughs>